What is greenhouse gas removal? Too much greenhouse gas in the atmosphere causes global warming. We urgently need to find ways to produce less. But did you know that we're also looking for ways to reduce the amount of greenhouse gases that are already out there and to lock them away for a long time? This process is called greenhouse gas removal, GGR, or in the case of CO2 specifically, carbon dioxide removal, CDR. In the UK, the UKRI Greenhouse Gas Removal Demonstrators, GGRD programme, is an ambitious new research initiative studying options for effective, large-scale GGR. This research will help government make choices for today and the longer term on the most effective technologies to help the UK reach net zero and give us expert insights into GGR that we can share with other countries. The GGRD programme consists of five GGR projects and is coordinated by the Greenhouse Gas Removal Hub, known as CORE. The projects are looking at the benefits and possible challenges of different methods of GGR, such as Can biochar be used to store carbon in soil? Could quarry waste work? How can we help peatlands store away carbon? How can creating woodlands help us meet net zero and more? How much greenhouse gas can biomass crops remove? CORE will work closely with the GGR projects and others to develop new knowledge on effective, responsible and timely GGR methods. Taking into account the environmental, economic, social, cultural, ethical, legal and governance implications of each of them. In short, we're exploring how to get GGR right for the UK. Can biochar be used to store carbon in soil? Biochar is a long-lived, carbon-rich, charcoal-like product that comes from burning biomass in a very low oxygen environment. Biochar can be spread on farmland, where it stores carbon dioxide from the atmosphere in the soil as carbon for a very long time. The biochar project is studying the implications of widespread use of this approach. How stable is biochar? How does it affect soil and plant life? Is there a business for biochar? Does it have public support? The biochar project is led by the University of Nottingham, with field trials across multiple sites in England and Wales. Could quarry waste work? Silicate rocks such as basalt have been absorbing greenhouse gases for millions of years as part of a chemical process. The greater a rock's surface area, the more greenhouse gas it can absorb. So, if we took rock waste from quarries, which is too finely crushed to be useful in construction, and added it to soil, it would not only store greenhouse gas from the atmosphere, it might even improve soil health and crop yields too. This process is called enhanced rock weathering, and our project is looking into whether this could be used at scale in a scientifically rigorous way to achieve GGR in the UK. The project is led by the University of Sheffield and is working across experimental field sites in England and Wales. How can we help peatlands store away carbon? Peatlands are wetlands and make up about 10% of the land in the UK. The kinds of plants you find in peatlands capture lots of CO2 through photosynthesis. When they die in a healthy peatland, they decompose really slowly, storing most of the carbon in the ground. However, human activities over many years means that many areas of peatlands are drying out. As it dries, the old plant material can start to decompose, and this releases some of the stored carbon back into the atmosphere. Our peatland restoration project, GGR Peat, will study a range of natural processes to see which ones most effectively restore the health of degraded peatland and which ones can even accelerate peat formation. The project is led by the UK Centre for Ecology and Hydrology with field tests in England and Wales. How can creating woodlands help us meet net zero and more? Trees are vital for our planet's health because they naturally absorb CO2. They offer a cost-effective way to remove greenhouse gases from the atmosphere. Planting more trees can also provide habitats for wild species and so protect biodiversity. What's more, woodlands can improve water quality, prevent floods 
and create beautiful spaces to explore, improving our physical and mental health. Planting trees at a large enough scale to achieve net zero, while realising all the benefits that woodlands can deliver, will require careful planning. Without this planning, we could even end up causing more harm than good, releasing CO2 instead of storing it, and destroying habitats instead of enhancing them. Our Woodland Creation and Management Project, Net Zero Plus, gathers evidence to explore the GGR consequences of different tree planting options for achieving net zero, and helps identify how to make sure we plant the right tree in the right place. How much greenhouse gas can biomass crops remove? Plants capture CO2 through photosynthesis as they grow. If we grow specific crops such as willow and miscanthus, we can then burn these crops to produce low carbon electricity, at which point the CO2 is released into the atmosphere again. If the CO2 is captured at the power station and stored underground, the process is carbon negative and is known as bioenergy with carbon capture and storage, BECS. The Perennial Biomass Crops Project, or PBC for GGR, is investigating the potential for plants like willow and miscanthus to support BECS in the UK. PBC for GGR, led by Aberystwyth University, will explore ways to maximise the GGR potential of these perennial crops while minimising their CO2 emissions. It will investigate the conditions required for farmer uptake, societal acceptance, costs, benefits and trade-offs, with field trials in East Yorkshire and Lancashire. What happens next? The GGRD programme will help shape longer-term decision-making on the most effective technologies to help the UK and the wider world tackle climate change. Be part of the journey and help us get GGR right for the UK. www.co2re.org